Greetings and welcome, workers and engineers, to another episode of Let's Play. Um, Frostpunk, in the refugee scenario. Right, we just finished one thing, and I do another thing. Uh, finished research on the, uh, the mechanical calculators. I can't quite move on to the next thing. Uh, I think I want infirmary mechanization, so I don't need quite as many engineers. I'll just wait until next morning. Final group. People from this group say that no more refugees are coming. We were the last to leave the ships, but we should be the last to reach the generator. No living soul left on the trail behind them. I see. Right. They do need housing, so I guess. And there's nothing else I can do. Let's just get the housing done. Alright, uh, let's clean up this road. We can only get one house at the moment, but we do have supplies coming in rapidly. Uh, well, not that rapidly, but rapidly enough. I've got promise fulfilled. Right, so everyone is getting help. There are seven amputees, 40 being treated. We did say that they could double up. Once we get more engineers, that should be more easy to solve. But for now, for now we have to get it out. Ooh. left. We kind of need the range extension, but it suffice. And this is still hot enough. Uh, we're about to reach the Black Spire. Get going. Time to earn your bread. Right. Exhausted travelers. This group of our people got lost after an avalanche separated them from the others. Exhausted, they stopped here to recover, but the supplies are running out. On the way here they saw a large peculiar structure buried in the snow. No idea what it is, other than it was man-made. Right, let's get them to the city. More workers. I've got so many workers that I really don't need anything else, uh, worker-wise. You saved all our people. You did it! Our friends and families, brothers and sisters, husbands and wives are safe. We are stronger now. You have proved that together we can achieve the impossible. Oak rises. Alright, so now that is done. We can focus on getting actual work done. Alright, let's get... Uh, let's get a little bit more wood if I could please. should satisfy my coal needs. Uh, I mean, there's chili in here. That is to be expected. I don't want to put down another thing. Uh, what can I research exactly? I, mean, I could go for the wall drill. And I want to. Steel steam works. Again, need more wood. Uh, I need the range upgrade. I want to make the steam sawmill last as long as it does. But first I just need more wood to come in, so... And let's get that infirmary optimization, because we will probably run into the problem of having to deal with lots of sick people. Right. Now, our tents are chilly. We should now probably start working on them. Right. 
the scouts have returned. You can go to the old storehouse. Yeah, going straight is probably fast enough. Anything else we can research later. This should at the very least give us the means of upgrading everything we need and also allow me to build that second house of worship. Now, uh, we are getting 38 more workers. How much does a fit house fit again? 10 people, alright, so we need 4 houses. That's more than sufficient. And that second house of worship. Right, the houses of worship are about as thick as a house. Uh, so if I just measure it out a little. I kind of want to put one on, on all the four corners, but that's not really going to happen here. Right, that'll do. Now we can hold a prayer to raise hope, but for now that's not necessary. Let's just get the houses built. Right, uh, you also need to employ people and get heat. Make the bunkhouses would be much more comfortable than the tents. Alright, and we don't need the houses just yet. Uh, I want to go for the steam. Wall is probably still our biggest concern, so let's upgrade that first. Old homes. We'll heat some homes, that should be done as soon as we uh, finish. Upgrade. With everyone off coming off work, we should have plenty of people willing to build. And that should also make people a lot less sick. Uh, speaking of which, though, um, turn the heat back on in these things, and I will build one more infirmary. Make sure that I can handle the load. Captain, a young couple asked us to deliver this note to you. We were separated on the trail and had no, uh, had to fight back in despair. Thanks to your efforts, we've been reunited. No words can express our gratitude. Right. Homes are warm. And we should now have all the people we need for the various jobs. The rebirth of faith. So people have started to visit the House of Prayer. There aren't many of them yet, but it might be the start of something special. Seems they really needed a proper place of worship. Well, I'm glad to hear it. it hope is fine. Scouts number two have returned safely to the city. There are some people. Avalanche survivors found. Right. Now, I can send you out to... Let's go to the White Pass. And to the landing site after that. And then we'll do the windswept wind snowfield after that. Alright, the houses of prayer have been built. Now, 
I think I've learned from my uh, problem that I should not really not uh, uh, wait until I need something. Shrines is probably a good idea. These will boost work efficiency wherever I place them. They don't really cost anything, so may as well. Let's go we catch as many buildings in the radius as we can. Nothing over here. I really need to move the cook house to be in range of the uh, the steam thing. Can I do that now? There is the heat overlay. Let's. There it is. Um. Right, that's fine. Right, we still have six people unhoused. Uh, did I miss a house? Pretty sure I've got all the houses. Maybe I just miscalculated how many houses I needed. Well, let's just put that here then. Or maybe pull people uh, with the ability to get in some people must be getting out of uh, care. Well, we'll see. We'll see about that. Right, shrines have been erected. Hope rises. The hungry, the homeless should be dealt with shortly. A looming threat. Captain, look out the beacon report a large group of strangers marching in our direction. We have to assume that the lords are coming. Our people are afraid that their worst fears are coming, going to come true. We're going to die in this frozen hell if they force us to leave. Even if they let us stay, they'll turn us into their slaves. We must be ready to fight. The Face the lords, right. The lords are coming with a lot of people. Um, right, it's 10 per house. And what is the current status of housing? Uh, I have 37 vacant beds. Did I overbuild? I don't think I did. I mean, there's people in the, in the care houses, of course. The total population is 343. So... I probably should build more houses. And... How close are we to finishing? Uh, we have time. Building more houses is a good idea anyway. Uh, but now that's not overbuilt too much. Just complete the ring of streets. Does it all look nice? Right, what is our call score? It's alright. It'll be better once we get the uh, steam things going. Right, that should help. Um, get the outpost depots done. I want to get that going. The food supply will only last for so long. And especially as we are getting more people coming in. Let's do you first. Alternates. Right. Um, how much room do I have to build stuff here anyway? 
Not a lot. Annoyingly, it will only fit here. Pretty, I can't tell them exactly where to dig or to uh, chop the trees. Right, let's not waste engineers on that. Right, all the engineers here are in use. And uh, it looks like we're doing fine. Right, that should make this a little bit more useful and bring up my coal balance a lot. So let's also upgrade the other one to the steam coal mine. Right, we've reached the old storehouse. Abandoned fishermen. Searching the storehouse, we found records of shipments from fisheries of the lake. Some pages have been ripped out. The last entry says, we've been abandoned. We gather our men and head out to the main camp before we run out of fish and fuel. Right. And then the snow covered supplies. Wait, go to the fishing village first and from there. Shrines, a breath of hope. Sir, people have started to leave personal charms, beads, and written prayers at shrines as votive offerings. It seems it helps them keep their spirits up in these trying times. Oh, good to hear that. I don't know who this one person is that is starving. I'm pretty sure the food supplies are readily accessible. Although speaking of that, we should probably consider building some more supply depots. This is gonna bother me. Alright, just build it along the wall here. Right. And build this. Right. I have enough wood for that. Let's get one more point in heal. Um, get the flying hunters done. Alright, that should definitely kick up my coal balance greatly. Let's store more raw food and more food rations. And do I want to build some more housing while I wait? And why not? Got plenty of vacant bats, but that should be so that should be fine. With our coal balance secured, we would be able to do stuff as necessary. I'll just turn this off for now. There is still probably some trees that I can reach. Getting a little bit desperate, but just get that going. You know, this is gonna bother me the entire time this is here. Right. 
You need to go. <sighs> well, so far things are looking good. I think we can manage. See you all next time. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please rate, comment, and subscribe.